Well, welcome back all doctors who have left the communist country and missions all around the world, including those right here in the U.S. Thousands of doctors used a parole mission to defect from Cuba. And before leaving office, President Obama ended the program forcing Cuban doctors to return to the island. In other news out of Havana today, Cubans there can get a slice of American life and culture thanks to the underground business there of memory sticks for programs and movies, many of them American on a weekly basis. That's yeah, pretty wild. Our Hatzel Vela, the one and only reporter from a local TV station in the U.S. to report inside Cuba, met one man who's actually been watching Local 10 way before it is what it is today. He has a show on Radio Havana, Cuba. And here's our first and sad news item. But 74-year-old Arnie Coro has other competing passions. I hope you have enjoyed my show. And they date back decades. Ireland? Germany. Here are the greeting cards he has collected over the years. I have thousands of them. It means that this is a repeater station. People he has met through his other love, amateur radio. His collection is tucked away in the corner of his kitchen in Nuevo Vedado. Engineering, communication systems. Look at his books and you realize it's been an obsession from the age of 12, he tells us. First radio, then television. It was the late 50s. My dad bought the best TV set that was available at that time. That's what he got into TV DXing or long distance reception, a hobby that taught him how to build antennas. And he has proof called Popular Electronics, the issue published in April of 1959, the year of the revolution. But for Arnie, the year his article was published in this American magazine. We picked up on a more or less regular basis that WPST station from Miami, Channel 10, which is now, I understand, WPLG. Okay, they changed the call sign. Channel 10, now Local 10. The article comes with a picture, an image from his TV screen. The caption reads, the signal was picked up with the standard conical antenna during peak sunspot activity. Arnie learned English in school. His mother was an English teacher who helped him edit the article submission. At that time, American television was very interesting. But now we live in the age of the internet and Cubans are just starting to get a taste. I think it's, it's very important to use what, whichever technology you have available to generate good communications between the peoples. He's talking about U.S.-Cuba relations and us, Miami-based journalist working on the island, he feels is a good starting point for a respectful professional dialogue that should continue. Your presence here, I think, marks oh, a, a landmark. I'm Pat Sovella, Local 10 News, Havana.